So as you guys know, we're trying to tell more stories from the construction industry. I just finished one of our videos with US site work, Komatsu and RMS. I uh, gotta show it to Randy, so let's find him and see what he thinks. Hey Randy, I finished the video. You wanna take a look? Creepy how you came around the corner with a camera. <laughs> it's ready? It's ready. I'm excited, you've been sitting in a cave working on this all day. Okay. Okay, let's see this bad boy. Construction to me is solving somebody's problem. A lot of it, I think, a technology actually, when people say construction, because it's I've watched it come so far. There is three of us that wanted to uh, start our own company. You know, we all had kind of crossroads in our careers where we were kind of not really going anywhere uh, with a current company that we were working for. We thought we should take on the challenge of starting our own company and trying to do something for ourselves and do it our own way and do it differently and hopefully do it better. When you're running equipment, you're kind of your own person doing that. So when you get something done, you know, you dig the pond or whatever, you make it look nice all by yourself. It's kind of an individual, also a team sport, but you're, it's individual what you get done. And then as a team, you get the whole project done. I would say the biggest challenge is, is getting the younger generation to realize that there is a lot of potential in running equipment. And, you know, I'm not saying don't go to college for four years. You know, I think my dad would have, you know, would love to see me go to college too, but I think that they don't have to. I think they can make a good career out of it. I, you know, been in it for almost 30 years. It's fun if you like being outside and working with, if you like your Tonka toys, they're just a little bigger now. <laughs> um, I enjoy it because I get to be outside. I, I can't sit in an office and stuff. I mean, I enjoy seeing what I had a hand in building. I mean, from buildings to ponds to roads. Being able to drive by and look at it and be like, yeah, I helped build that. Well, I originally just knew from the get-go that I wanted to be a heavy equipment operator. Always was outside playing in the dirt, you know. Well, I, I, like I said, I get the instant gratification. You can see it come together right in front of you with, you know, you're doing it with your own hand and hands through the machine controls. And it's just, you can work the dirt different ways and make it work better. I don't know. It's just, it's just the instant gratification and the hands-on stuff. Road machinery uh, is our uh, Komatsu dealer. Uh, we've bought our three, the last three backhoe excavators that we uh, purchased came from there. They have integrated GPS. Like on the Waconia job, the, the excavator was cutting the bottom right to grade within a tenth. I mean, they have the top of the line technology for integrated GPS on dozers and backhoes that uh, make us more effective and more efficient and more productive. And we can bid tougher on our projects with some of that technology. I think that's probably the biggest challenge is getting people to understand that construction isn't like it used to be. You know, it just is not like it used to be. Everything is different, you know. That. At a young age, if, if you can get them behind a machine and pull some levers and show them how the, you know, a, a 80,000 pound excavator works or a, even a 5,000 pound mini excavator in a mall, um, if you can get that seed planted early, that seed could, you know, maybe pan out to be a career for that kid. Dude, that was freaking awesome. That was cool. This bump. Put that stuff out there. So yeah, I think that's that's what we need. With the camps we're doing, now we can get out and story tell a little bit, let kids get excited about the trades. What do you guys think? Maybe put in the comments, I don't know. See if it wasn't any good. I thought it was good. Irik, of course, a little bit biased, but yeah, that was awesome. Nice work, Irock. <laughs>